What is up guys, Roshan here. In this video, I'm going to shed some light into how I use SQL as a business analyst in Dubai. And as always, I will leave timestamps below, so feel free to skip ahead. All right, let's begin. So what is SQL? SQL, which stands for Structured Query Language, is basically a declarative programming language that helps you manage and manipulate data stored in a database. So this way, you can write queries to retrieve, insert, update, delete, or analyze data. Now, as a business analyst, my primary responsibility is to analyze data and generate insights that can support decision making. To do this, I start by gathering data from different sources and combining them. And these sources could be databases or even Excel spreadsheets. So if I have data in an Excel spreadsheet, I then insert it into a table and SQL then helps me combine these different sources and retrieve data from the database. All right, so I thought I'd quickly show you an example of how I retrieve data. So here on the right, we've got three data sources. Number one is customers, which contains information around customers. Order table contains order information. Shipping table contains shipping information. Now let's say you want to find the orders by customer. Here what I'm doing is I'm combining the customers table with the orders table to get order information of amount and item by the customer. Now, after gathering and preparing data, the next step is data cleaning and data transformation. I can filter out irrelevant records, handle missing values or nulls, and format the data so that it makes it very easy to analyze it. So in the first step, we understood how to retrieve data by combining different sources. So we listed the order item amount by customer name and age. Now the next step is to filter data. Let's say we have to filter for only customers in the US. So I'll add a where clause where I mentioned country should be equal to US. This is a simple example of how you can clean and transform data by filtering what you need. I then move on to using the aggregate functions in SQL to analyze the data. So by using the SQL aggregate functions, I'm able to calculate metrics like the sum, average, and then gain valuable insights from it. So for the last piece of information, let's say we need to analyze the total order amount by customer. To do that, we would use a simple aggregate function in SQL, which in this case is sum. So I'm summing the amount and that will give us the total order amount by customer. It's one thing that I'm missing over here is I need to add a group by. If we run this, we get the total order amount. Um, maybe we can rename this column. We get the total order amount by customer. Now, after analyzing the data, the next step is to present my findings or insights with my stakeholders. Now, I could do this using reports or dashboards, so I don't really use SQL a lot to present my insights and findings. But in case my stakeholders also need the raw data, I then share the query that will help them retrieve the data that they need. So to summarize, SQL is an indispensable tool for me as a business analyst. I do also use SQL a lot to automate reports to save time and effort and also make sure there's real-time or up-to-date information available for decision-making. Now, there are a lot of business analysts that don't use SQL, but in most cases, I would consider SQL to be a very valuable tool that every analyst needs to learn. So if you're considering a career in business analysis, I would definitely recommend learning SQL so that way it opens up more opportunities for you. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next. Peace.